Hey everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card video. We are still cleaning out my closet, and you're going to hear me say that a lot, but it's kind of weird because by the time you're watching this episode, I'm probably either just about to move or have already moved, which is <laughs> kind of weird, considering uh, I've been recording so much in just the course of like a week that uh, you guys are probably going to see me in this location for several months, but... I don't know, it's exciting for me because I'm recording it over the course of a couple of weeks, and it basically means I get to open a lot of Pokemon cards in a short time, which is really, really fun and exciting for me. But today, guys, I'm a little bit nervous about this right here. So we have this Magirna EX, which might be a little bit damaged. Now, if we look at the tin itself, as far as I can tell, everything looks pretty fine. Is that a dent there, maybe? I don't know, there might be a dent here, I'm not sure. Yeah, there might be a dent right there. If we take a look around... Looks mostly okay though, but the problem is if we zoom in, you might be able to just barely see it, but it looks like there might be a bend. Oh, it's so hard to see on camera. We'll get a better look once we open it, but there might be a bend in the EX right there. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what we've got going on here. Hopefully that EX is not too damaged. But, well, I do have a couple more of these Magirna EX tins, so if this one's damaged, I still have a couple others, but it'd still be a shame to have an unopened EX be damaged. Yeah, that is not good, guys. Oh, gosh. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Yeah. Jeez, let's go ahead and take it out. So, this somehow got really bent up. Uh, let's see. Yep. <laughs> that, is, that is not looking good right there. So, somehow it got bent even though it was inside of the tin you think you'd think the tin would protect it but something got it there in shipping i guess and that is not looking too pretty the rest of the card looks completely fine but that corner right there yeah that's a that's a yikes so well hopefully one of my other two magirna exs oh jeez look at that hopefully one of my other two magirna exs is not looking like that that is a shame but we'll go ahead and set that aside you know what even though it's damaged they're still deserving of a sleeve, so let's go ahead and sleeve them up here. And we'll set them aside here. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this code card out. And let's take a look at what packs we've got inside. Normally there's four packs inside of a tin. We have Steam Siege. There's another Steam Siege. Man, these Steam Siege... Wow. The foil on these is like really tight. What the crud? That's weird. Well, we'll see what's going on with that. Here we have Ancient Origins and Primal Clash. So some pretty cool sets here. Let's go ahead and start with the two Steam Siege packs. I don't know, these are just like really tightly wrapped. I don't think that has any indication of what's inside. I don't think it means like, hey, we've got an EX in there. But maybe, <laughs> we'll see. I, I don't think it's related at all. There is the code card. Let's see what we got, guys. So starting off with a Drifblim on our first pack. We've got a Captivating Pokepuff. It is very captivating, very pink. We have Tan Growth. It isn't, I don't know, never mind. <laughs> we got Meryl here. We have a Ponyta. We have a Dino. We have Litwick. There's Nose Pass. Reverse Hollow is a Persian. And we also have a Holographic. Nice. We've got an Evil Tall there. So Reverse Hollow is an Uncommon and also the Holographic. So pretty good. Pretty good first pack. Nothing ridiculous, but I will definitely take a Holographic any day of the week. Let's go ahead and sleeve up this Persian as well. Just a normal sleeve. And let's go ahead and move that back just a bit. Let's get to our second... Second. Let's get to our second Steam Siege pack. A lot of words starting with the letter S right there. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Maybe we'll get an EX inside this one. Once again, just very, very tight on the foil. Not really sure if that means anything, but, well, I doubt it does. So, our second pack, we have a Pokemon Ranger. There's another Drifblim, all right. There's Flaffy. I love Flaffy. We've got ourselves a Ponyard. There's C Dot with the beautiful art. We have Clink. There's Mareep. We have uh, Bergmite. Dude, so many people hate Bergmite, but I actually kind of like them a lot. I think Bergmite's weird, but still pretty great. And Avalug as well. I think they're fine too. Here we have Reverse Hollow as a shield on, and we have, okay, another holographic. We have an Ampharos. So we got a, is this one just a common? Nope, we got another uncommon. So uncommon plus holographic combo for both of our Steam Siege packs. We'll sleeve up Ampharos, we'll sleeve up the shield on as well. So shield on is one of the fossil Pokemon, I believe, from Gen 4. I can't remember. It might be Gen 5, but I think it's Gen 4. Here we have Ancient Origins. I kind of mess up the fossil Pokemon. I know them from Gens 1, 2, 3, and 6 very well, but I do mix up the uh, Gen 4 and 5 ones sometimes, so just bear with me. But here we've got an Eco Arm. We have Ariados. Am I focused? Yeah, I was a little bit out of focus, but we're good. We have Tyranitar Spirit Link. 
Ralts looking through the cracks in the wall, kind of being a creeper. We have Ball Toy with the two-thirds art right here. I forget what these are called, but there's like the special effect right there. There's some name for this type of card. It's been so long since I've uh, opened these, so I kind of forgot what it is, but something. Here we have a Cottony. There's Relicanth. We have Golurk. Reverse Hollow is an Inke. And we also have a Volcarana. Once again, the two-thirds art right here, which has the stop ability. I think they both had the stop ability. So there it is. Let's zoom back out. So the only thing to really sleeve up is this guy, which is just a common. We still have one more pack to go. And uh, hopefully we get something good, because our only EX so far from this tin has been that Magirna, or however you pronounce it, I, I just say Magirna. It makes sense to me, because Gears, you know, Magirna, I don't know. But it's damaged, so hopefully we can get a non-damaged EX from one of these packs. There's that. And let's see what we have. We have a Linoon, which is actually kind of, look at this guy, he looks angry, dude. But we have a Kyogre Spirit Link, Kakuna. Mudkip hiding under the dock. We've got Phoebus. Maybe Phoebus is looking for Mudkip and that's why Mudkip is hiding. We've got Elamize, Hippopotas with the weirdest art. We've got Slugma. Reverse Hollow is a Rough Seas, which the text on that looks really weird. Maybe it's just me, but it looks kind of smudged. I don't know. There's a Reverse Hollow and we've also got, okay, we've got Archie's Ace in the hole. So we've got a full art supporter card. I will definitely take that. And this guy as you can see, it does not have that crazy bend on the side. So while we do have the damaged Magirna, we at least got something pretty gosh dang sick out of this. So that is awesome. I'll sleeve up this rough seas as well. And I guess that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.